Okay. So if you're wondering what I did at 1.30 in the morning, I decided to draft a pattern of one of my favorite type of shirts that I bought. I have a roll of vellum paper, but this actually is freezer paper. So the cheapy kind of freezer paper is great to work with because it's just paper on one side. And uh, so you can use a marker or a pen scissors ruler and I use what's called a curve ruler or French curve ruler um, not all of them are created equal this one actually was by the magic fit system and I went to a pattern drafting class many years ago where they try to sell you their system it was probably 31 years old and um, I have enjoyed it immensely. So it's great for doing curves, you know, for example, like this. I did not use this curve last night, um, but as you can see, I got pretty close. Right here, this is the back. I should have done the front. Look at that. And I should have done the front a little bit more and I'll explain that later when I went to try this on there was too much extra on the front piece so uh, sometime you do have to make an adjustment but I'll just show you a little bit about what, how I do things okay so I always lay out my favorite top and of course you got to have like coca-cola in a special glass it really helps so, anyway, once I get my Coke, I get going. Uh, but anyway, I just, I, lay, I roll out my freezer paper, and I use this edge of the freezer paper. That's going to be my fold line anyway. So, and I lay my freezer paper out, and then I just cut what is there. I draw a line, and as you can see, I drew a line. You can see here, I drew a line exactly where... The finish is so I have to always remember to add extra you know when I'm really cutting this out and then I will kind of pull back and draw pull back my sleeve and kind of draw right where that line is so to speak as you can see I drew and but I know the front always when you lay these out you can feel it there's the back seam there's the back seam and here's the front seam so because our torsos are made where we kind of slump forward, you always have to have more room in the back than the front. That's why a sleeve is never the exact same curve on the front as it is on the back. Two key things that people don't know a lot sometimes. I make my notes right on here. So I cut this and, and so I'm just gonna use this as a front and a back, but normally, I would probably cut another one of these and um, name it the front and just because I've been sewing so long and, and drafting stuff till I'll take my front pattern and I kind of know uh, exactly like how to do this and then I'll usually draw what I think my neckline would be and I think this is too high right now so what I'll write on there it's the front and back of a swing top I may actually draw this draw that exactly on there and then um, I'll put notes don't forget to cut the front you know neckline deeper um, and I wrote knit version so what happens is on a knit version in your bust and everywhere it stretches with knit stretches so you can make it pretty much your exact measurements, but if I sew with some other type of fabric, which I did last night, and um, I didn't think about it uh, too much, but anyway, I was like, uh, I cut that out of non-stretchy fabric. So what you have to do is give it a little bit more, so you have to tilt your pattern a little bit more because you've got to have a little bit more room to be able to move in here. So what I did for the sleeve is I literally just folded. As you can see, I have the sleeve right there. That's the fold, so to speak. So I kind of laid that underneath there and just drew that off and cut it. And 
So when I drew it off and cut it, I knew that I have to make a correction for the front part of my sleeve to the back. So I was doing that freehand and I haven't done it in a long time, but I should have went and got that ruler and it would have come out perfect. So I put the sleeve in and right here, it tends to want to bulk up on the front. So the reason why is I did not cut that I did not cut that deep enough. So I can't really go too deep because I took this uh, material which does not stretch too much and I just thought, wow, this is loud and I'd already made my daughter dress out of it years ago. I was like, you know what? I want something really loud. I think I'm gonna do on my sleeve because it doesn't give very much is I'm gonna take my sleeve off and I'm gonna insert like a lace sleeve in here, a knit sleeve onto this and it'll be pretty because this is all real busy. I mean, you can't beat the busyness. So I'm just gonna do like a cream or ecru lace sleeve on here and uh, we'll be good to go. I may add my lace and then just make me a ruffle of the lace around there. So some way I'll do it and it'll probably turn out cute. But um, anyway, so that's, that's, that's it for today, folks. Just thought I would share that. So if you have a simple, something that you would like to try all you need is some freezer paper and some scissors and a pen and you can go at it <laughs>